and my peeps. I'm back. Boop, boop. I promised you I was going to share a video with you of how and what I got for my kids for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to do it with you. This is the boys' baskets because, like I mentioned before, well, the boys' bags. Because, like I mentioned to you before, I gave passion hers already. So I originally had bought them this little small red bag. But I have a lot of stuff for them, so it's not going to fit in here. So I bought another bag, which is a little bigger, for both of them. One for Tommy, one for Kevin. So this is going to be Kevin's. Remember, I hold, let me move this camera a little bit this way. Oh, I don't want Okay, let me see. I don't know how to work this. Oh, okay, like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so remember, I hauled this in um, Dollar Tree. This is going to be for Kevin so he can keep this in his car. I'm going to tape the batteries to it so that he can keep it in his car. I won't put the batteries in because they'll get rusty or whatever. So the God forbid he ever needs it. Oh, shit, the batteries are in there. So I gotta take them out. Good thing I opened this up. So I don't know if I showed you on camera how this looks. You see how it brightens up? I don't wanna brighten. See, and it dims. So I'm gonna tape this. I'm gonna tape the batteries. I just took the tape to the kitchen. I'm gonna tape the batteries to it so that if he needs it, it's already there. You know, I won't leave it on because he's gonna, it, it'll get rusty and stuff like that. So I'm gonna tape it and then you screw it back on. I'm gonna tape it so he can have it in his car in case God forbid he ever needs it, right? This is good to have in the car. So that's gonna be that. Actually, mm, okay, yeah. I got him the wipes. Remember I mentioned that in my haul? Let me see what else. Let me see, does this have candy? Okay. Oh, I got him the shoelaces because <laughs> I mentioned this in my first haul. Kevin needs some shoelaces and he knows the story. He needs shoelaces. So I know he's going to crack up when he sees the shoelaces. The soap. Oh, God, I'm going to reach over. Let me see. The soap. The axe soap. Um, his face mask. Right? And... I have a little shreds in there. I'm gonna put the shreds. Kevin loves um, the Andy candies, the mint candies. He loves this. So I'm gonna. You guys look crooked. So I got him a lot of Andy candies. Oh, I just ripped the bag. Now I can't use it. And I mentioned to you before, I bought him socks. Cause Kevin works outdoors, so I bought him some heavy duty work socks so he could have. So I bought him two, two Dollar Tree. Okay, I bought him that. He loves his Reese's Pieces. I got him that. I got him a pack of Starburst. I bought him a pack of Bubblicious. What else is this in? A little trimmer so you could trim his mustache, his beard, and it was like Kevin got a full face beard. So he could do that if he wants to do a little quick trim or something. And then I got him some lollipops. Little heart lollipops. Uh oh. One fell. Okay, that's that. And then <coughs> excuse me. I even bought them this little cologne set. Remember I mentioned this in my past, my previous haul. Uh, it was the CK one. Did that. And then I bought like the little mason jars and I put um, Jolly Ranchers, some chocolate, some kisses. Put that there. Right? That's that. You know, it's a little bit of something. And it's not that nothing big nothing you know crazy it's just a little something for them you know it's a tradition i have for so many years since they were born since they were babies they expect something and like i said if i don't do it they're gonna be like oh hello especially kevin kevin be like i don't care if i got kids i mean he don't have any kids right now 
But he's like, I don't even care if I have kids because uh, I was here first and I expect my basket for every holiday. <laughs> so he looks forward to it. He's like a big baby at heart, you know? So he don't care how old he get. He, he expecting his stuff. So the fruit rollers, I'm going to put the fruit rollers in there. And um, his Reese's Pieces. He loves his little Reese's Pieces, anything peanut butter. Then I got him the, the little teddy bear. And that's basically it. That's going to be his basket. That's one down. Then the other one is Tommy Boy. The same thing. I got him a lantern. He has, he moved out. He's the first one to move out. So he has his own little place. So in case the lights go out, it's good for him to have that. Let me shut off the, oh, the battery's on here too. So, um, I'm gonna do the same thing. Tape it and take the batteries to it. So he has his own apartment. In case, God forbid, he, you know, the lights go out. He lives on the third floor, I believe. So if he had to go down the stairs late at night and then the, the hallway lights is busted or something, or just the building went out, of, you know, Hey, hello. Mama always thinking. So that's for him. Basically, I basically got the same thing for them. I got him um, whites as well because he works in the public too. Um, his face mask, the yellow one. I got him these eye patches because Tommy's very... um. He likes to take care of himself. He likes to do his manicure, his feet. Now, I know he probably do masks and put this in his eyes if he want a relaxing day. Spa day for him. I know he would do something like that. I got him some fishes. He loves fishies. I don't care how big my kids are going to get. They'll be in their 20s, 30s, 40s. I'm still going to get them. Their Easter baskets, their Valentine's, whatever. Christmas stockings. I don't care. And when I get old and I can't walk or I can't go to the store, guess what? I'm sending one of them. And most likely it'll be Passion because she's the girl. If not, it'll be Tommy because Kevin, no. Kevin will be like, I ain't doing that shit. Mm -mm. So, but I'll be sending one of them too to go buy me my stuff so that when you guys come and visit me, I mean, look at me like if I'm talking to them. So when they come and visit me, I'll have the little things waiting for them. I, that will be a tradition for as long as God gives me life. And if I can't do it, guess what? One of them is going to go do it for me. Buy it and bring it for me, and I'm going to do it. That's just me. I bought him Starburst, too. The confetti. I feel like I bought Milky. Oh, Milky. This is not supposed to be for Tommy. This is supposed to be for Passion, but I guess he got it. The Carmax. I don't even think I'm gonna give it to him because he won't, I don't even think he's gonna use this. Can he be like bougie? He'd be like, oh no, I I I got my good stuff from Sephora. I got my well, he real bougie, so I don't know. I might not even put this in his basket. The same cologne. When you meet when you meet Tommy and Kama, you're gonna know what I mean. Um why I got him more candy than Kevin? I don't know. I got him more stuff. I got him a candle, I mean, socks from the Dollar Tree. These socks, he likes graphic socks. So I got him that. Why I got him a candle? It smells good. He likes lighting up candles. He likes burning um, wax burners and stuff. So I got him a candle too. I got him the same candies inside, kisses, chocolate, Jolly Ventures. Bought him gum as well. And light tops. And he likes anything caramel. He loves caramel. So I bought him the the Weathers caramel, soft caramel. And that's basically it. All his Axe soap. Axe soap. His little fruit roll up. I'm gonna put in there too. Tommy loves cookies and cream, so I got him cookies and cream. But you know what? I'm going to split this up. I'm going to give him half to Kevin, half to him. And I bought him his um, Hershey Kisses. They melted, and I put it in the freezer, and it kind of, look out. 
<laughs> Look at how we went back into place all crooked and bent. So I'm gonna put it there. Hopefully, it will straighten out with the room temperature. And and his little teddy bear. And that's it, guys. That's it. So my boys got their um Valentine's basket, just like that. Little goodies for both of my babies. Passion got the same thing basically, but her bag was um pink, and she had more girly stuff in there. I'm gonna split this up now. I'm gonna split this up. Put some in his and some in Kevin's. And that's that. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's basically it. That I can't wait to learn how to edit. Oh my god, because boy, am I gonna make mistakes. And I'm gonna stutter. But um that's basically it, guys. I'll save these bags in case I have to give a gift to somebody. Gift it to somebody. But um, something not something simple, nothing crazy. Now I'm gonna start um buying for um what do you call that? Easter. Make the Easter baskets, and I'll t I'll make them take pictures. Like I think it was um last year, I believe it was. Believe it or not. Everybody takes their kids to, to, to circus for Easter. That's like a tradition. Oh, we're going to Easter, dress them up on Easter, Easter Sunday clothes and take them to the circus. Back then when they were young, it was Ringley, Ringley, Barley, Bailey's brothers, something like that. Now they don't even, they don't even exist no more. So I, they had the soul circus. So I told my kids last year, be ready, get dressed. So we're going to a circus. They were like, Ma, really? I'm like, yeah, we're going to a circus. They were like, wow, you, you, what, you think we're five years old? I said, in my eyes, yeah, you're going to be five for that day. You guys going to make me happy and we're going to a circus. I made the Easter baskets. I made them take, I didn't force them, but, you know, I'm like, line up straight and take a picture with your Easter baskets. They'll put that face. I wish I knew how to in, um, put pictures so you could see how they look. Because it was adorable. I love it. We went to a circus. And Kevin, my oldest, he's always the clown. He was like, well, if you're going to treat us like we five-year-old, we're going to act like five-year-old. I was like, if you embarrass me, you're going to know what's going to happen to you. You know what's going to happen. You're going to get the beating of your life. Don't play with me. Don't embarrass me. No, I'm not going to embarrass you. We're just going to act like five years. I'm going to want everything. Everything. Down to cotton candy. Down to a hat. Down to a sword. Can you believe this This one? All three of them. But especially Kevin. He walked out of there with the tiger hat with the ears. He walked out of there with um the the, the glow-in-the-dark sword that blinks. That, that blinks. He walked out. He made me get buy him cotton candy. He made me buy him slushy. He made me buy. Passion walked out of there with um um. What she walked out of there with? She she had a a sword too. Tommy, I'm telling you, they made me spend money. Like I was like never again, <laughs> never again. Those kids, but we had so much fun. And even they were they were on board in the beginning, like, oh, it's a circus. Like, we old. Like, who does that? You know, Ma? But guess what? I have pictures. We have video. And we had such a great time. We created memories. I told them, I said, I always used to always take you to a circus when you were babies. You guys don't remember that? Now that you're older, we could we could create new memories and now you remember like years from now down the road you're gonna be like my mom make us go to the circus and she we, we you know we acted like little kids and she bought us everything and she you know we had a good time we had laughs like passion was dancing to the music like she knew the words and kevin's just 
with the sword all over like he was really like really into his blinking his sword everywhere I remember that day and I want to take it back and I don't regret it. Like it was just a beautiful moment. Like just to have that time with my kids and just create those memories. I said like they will always treasure that now. Always. They will always remember that. Now they're old enough to always remember, you know, that we spent that day together and we did what we did. And it was just a beautiful day. So those are little things that people take for granted. You know, they may think, oh, they're old, but guess what? You're never too old to have fun. You're never too old to laugh. You're never too old to create memories, especially when you got a cool mom like me. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, my guys, I just want to share that story with you. Um, so basically, this is it. This is just my little bags that I made for my babies. Now I'm gonna like. Now I'm gonna go visit my grandma, and after I visit my grandma, I'm gonna drive to Tommy's job, give him his little um, Valentine's bag. I'm going to leave this in Kevin's room so when he comes home, he'll find it. And that's it. Nothing to it. It's just the little things that count. And if you don't do this, it's never too late to start, guys. It's never too late. If you have kids, the littlest thing, they'll be they'll, they'll appreciate it. They they really will appreciate it. They'll be like, wow, mom. Oh, yeah, wow. It's, not, it, it's just the little things that count. It, it don't have to go crazy. It don't have to be name brand. It don't have to be nothing, you know, expensive. It could just be just the little things, the simple things. For me, I'm very simple. I don't like material. I'm not a materialistic person. But the littlest things, it, it goes a long way for me. And that's why I try to install my kids. It's not the price. It's not what it costs. It's just the thought that counts. And I know they look forward to this no matter what. With On that note, my peeps... Have a happy Valentine's Day. Remember, the little things count. Just because you think you can't afford it, oh, I don't got no money, but you know what? The Dollar Tree has stuff for a dollar. You buy them something so simple, and you will put a smile on their face. And you can start that tradition going forward. It don't have to be $20, $40, $50. Dollars. It could be a dollar. Buy them a piece of chocolate. Hey, it's, I was thinking about you. Happy Valentine's Day. That's all it counts. That's all it takes. Okay? So... Once again, enjoy your day, have fun, subscribe, like, and comment if you like my content, um, and help me grow so I could bring you more videos. And I'm still waiting on you. I just upped all the last video. I'm still waiting on your suggestion. Should I go with Dimples from Brooklyn or Brooklyn Diva? Let me know in the comments, okay? Bye, my peeps.